Yeah, so we presented it and asked the first results of the NCI FLIR trial, which is a head tech comparison of, of ibrutinib plus rituximab against FCR for, for patients who, in their first treatment, who were fit for FCR. So we, we, we randomized 771 patients between the two arms, and we showed a significant advantage in, in favor of ibrutinib rituximab with a, a hazard ratio of 0.4. Uh, in, fa- in favor of average results, not in terms of progression free survival. Um, we also showed that, 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 that this was particularly uh, unsignificant in the poor risk group. So the IGHV or mutated and the 11Q deleted uh, patients wasn't significant in the IGHV mutated, although there was a trend, and that's seen across other, other similar trials. Um, we also uh, showed that there was no difference in overall survival, but when we compared our survival for FCR now compared to uh, our trials of about 10 years ago, there was a significant improvement. So this is due to crossover our progression from FCR to ibrutinib predominantly and to the next client. So, so the FCR survival of four years has gone up from about 84% to 94% over about a period of about 10 years, which is obviously impressive. We did see some side effects. Um, which are specific to both FCR and average rituximab. So we saw, for example, more secondary MDS AML with FCR, uh, more infections with FCR. We saw some more cardiac events um, with, with uh, average rituximab. So this, this trial really confirms uh, many other comparisons with chemotherapy uh, as the first part of the first important study.